Hi all, let's talk about synchronous versus asynchronous transformations in SSIS. Transformations in SSIS are categorized into two categories. First one is a synchronous transformations. Second one is asynchronous transformations. So these are all like a kind of common English terms synchronous and asynchronous. So let's talk about what is synchronous transformations and what is asynchronous transformations. So synchronous transformation, the output of a synchronous, com synchronous transformations component uses the same buffer as the input. And it, I mean, it does not create a new buffer for the output. It is going to reuse the input buffer is possible because the number of input records equal to the number of output records. I mean, it may add new columns to the input records that's it it does not create new records while sending output from the synchronous components finally the number of input records equal to the number of output records also the destination adapters are all synchronous components only now let's come to the asynchronous so the output of an asynchronous component uses a new buffer i mean it is going to create a new buffer for the output means it may impact sometimes the performance also it is not possible to reuse the input buffer because as it is a asynchronous component can have more or less number of output records than input records means let us say 100 records of the input in the output you may get more than 100 or less than 100 so that is nothing but a asynchronous transformations all source adapters are the asynchronous one I mean the main difference in between synchronous and asynchronous is the number of input records equal to number of output records in synchronous and in the asynchronous so the number of input records may be less than or greater than the number of output records again so in the asynchronous you may get good performance but in the asynchronous it may impact the performance because it is creating a new buffer altogether in the runtime it may use the memory to create the buffers. So this is about synchronous and asynchronous transformations in SSIS.